Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend, science, astronomy, and telescopes. It's that time where I know I just came back from Mexico about two months ago, two and a half months ago, but I'm going again in a week and a half. So, and the reason is, you know, in the spring, it gets so busy at work, you prepare for summer, gets really busy at work, and it's not until probably the fall when I start taking my four weeks vacation. So normally then I got to cram like four weeks into like a few months worth of time. So I bought myself a new large suitcase. And the reason is, you know, the one that I brought the last three times, which is Angelus, is a cloth one and it's like 15 pounds. So it's very heavy and takes up 15 pounds of the 50 pounds that you're allowed. So I bought a new one. Okay, it's about the same size anyway, but this one's 9.7 pounds, more than five pounds difference. Now I know some of you might say that's not a lot, but you know what, every pound that I can save, because remember I'm bringing a telescope, a tripod, eyepieces, I'm padding it, and then my regular clothes and my bathroom stuff, and you know, everything that normal people do. So. Most people don't carry telescopes and sometimes if the, the odd percent like us crazy amateur astronomers We a lot of people carry small ones, right? And I just don't want to carry anything too small So I got this guy so it's gonna save me this is my carry-on as I took last time and then this is my big one now as you guys know my telescope to go travel on an airplane is the Skywatcher Heritage 150. You're getting a big, I mean, I say big because for airplane travel, I think six inches is big. It folds down, it's only nine pounds. For the OTA, I mean complete, you really can't find a bigger, lighter telescope anywhere. Now, maybe with that StarSense module on here, brings it up to about 10 pounds. Now, normally, you know, I bring it on this guy. I know it's not the most solid. It works. Now, normally when I go high planetary power, you want more solid because you want to look at all the fine detail. You don't want it to be shaking, right? But when you're just looking at a little blob, a galaxy, a cluster, to me at least, you guys tell me if it's the same for you, I don't mind a little tiny vibration. But also, when I'm looking at these deep sky objects, most of the time I'm at the low power. I'm using like a 32 millimeter, a 20 mil, like something. And in this scope, that's not even high power. I go up to about 125 power. Normally I don't go anymore because uh, most deep sky objects are, you know, big anyway. Or, you know, the more like a galaxy you blow it up, the more the light it's going to be spread and the dimmer you're going to make it anyway. So I know it's not the most strongest, a telescope, but it does fit it. It's keeping the weight down. This altogether is five pounds. And then of course this with the module, you know, we're looking at uh, 10 pounds here. You know, we're looking at a total of 15 pounds for this size is very good. Now that my suitcase only, well, 9.7, let's just round up to 10 pounds. So if we have 15 pounds here, the suitcase at let's say 10 pounds that's 25 pounds you know then normally I wrap this twice with rubber and then one of those rubbers it ends up being the shroud and it extends about six seven inches I don't know eight inches for my do shield so it serves me as both my protection and the shroud do shield I don't know what that weighs. It could be three, four pounds, both of them, something like that, I, I don't know. And then of course I bring a small case with some accessories, a couple filters, five eyepieces, uh, you know, a camera adapter, you know, some, you know, batteries and different things that uh, you're gonna need, flashlight, a map. Uh, the map I use, the, the Orion Deep 600. It's very big map and it only weighs like half an ounce and it shows you the best 600 stuff Which is more than adequate Okay, so this time I was thinking, you know now that I'm saving Almost five and a half pounds Could 
somehow make this guy a bit more sturdy so I'm gonna have a better viewing experience. So do you guys remember this tripod? Now I'm gonna put it next to the Omni. This is as low as the Omni goes and this is as low as this one goes. As you can see, it's a lot shorter. These are like EQ3, EQ4 legs, but I made this guy really short because remember you could extend this guy a lot more and on a Newtonian reflector like this, you view on the top more than sufficient. So I thought, what if instead of this guy, I could do this. And then I was thinking about the SV Boney 225AZ mount, so it could be more beefier. But just looking at the numbers, again, this mount and head and slow motion controls is all five pounds without the telescope. This guy here alone, the legs is thicker, but it's five pounds on its own. The AZ mount is about six pounds. So even though I am saving about five pounds here, this guy here is equivalent to all of this. So if I were to bring the SV Boney 225, I'm back at the same boat with with these two and my old luggage, which gave me about 10, 11 pounds maximum for clothing after I wrap it, after I put my eyepieces and stuff like that. That's all I have left, about 10 or 11 pounds this way with these two and my old luggage, which is not a lot when you think about weight. 10, 11 pounds goes like this. So I think I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna wait and I'll probably end up using this another time. So I think I'm just gonna have to stick to this because it becomes 15 pounds with the new luggage. That becomes 25 pounds. And then even with the double wrapping that I do and then with my eyepieces and then some shoes and then a little bit of clothing, instead of 10, 11 pounds, I should be more 17, 18 pounds of clothing. That would, I think, help out a lot more. Instead of me carrying, normally, what I did my last trip, is have two suitcases, a big one, because the telescope's gonna take three quarters of it and everything I need for it. Then I have half of my clothes in this carry-on, and then final stuff in my knapsack. I'm thinking if I stay with this guy here, I can eliminate the backpack and just do two luggages instead of having three in total. So maybe I can make it with this one and the SB Boney, but I think I'm pushing it again on the weight and I'm actually gonna be five pounds worse than when I was with the old setup, which doesn't make sense. So anyway, I'm going back to Mexico. It should be a Bordeaux four zone and a six inch in a Bordeaux four is actually very good. And I'm also gonna see stuff that are a lot further south, about 22, 22, 23 degrees more south than I can see from this location. Anyway guys, I'll see how it goes. Now that video uh, is gonna be on the members only video. So if you guys would like to join the members and see some videos that I don't post on the regular channel, it's only one cup of coffee once a month, 99 cents a month, and you get to see at least one video that I put on there strictly for the members. And anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Why not you? Why not me? Okay, guys, update. So I guess I thought this was the same size as the other one, but I guess it's like two inches shorter. So as you, you can see, it just doesn't quite fit. So I think what I'm going to do this time, instead of trying to cut it, I'm just going to take these out. And then that should, you know, because it goes to about here. And I think I might just make it. So let me give that a shot. I should have tested this case and this tripod before. Um, I do got uh, about uh, nine days left. So, but I'm always cutting it short. I don't know why I do that. But anyway, I'm hoping this will work. Okay, so my plan did work, it does fit. So I just thought, you know what? Okay, I can either do that, or I can go back to this guy, 
I will have a better, stronger tripod, and then I won't have to put all of these together. It's going to weigh a little bit more like this. What I'm thinking, another thing I'm thinking is, what if I take the hub off this guy, put the tripod on here, and then it's gonna look like this. So it's gonna have stronger legs, this same head, and then on the telescope. Now I just weigh this guy, and it's two pounds. So if I do it this way, it becomes seven pounds. Actually, hold on, no, I'm not taking this off. I'm gonna try that out and see. You know what guys, it works. You know what, I kinda like that. Do you see how wide it is? It's actually fairly wide. I know it's short, okay? Just to where the hub is, okay? It's 21 inches to the, the hub. The top of the arm is about 28 inches. So it's actually very short. But remember too, I think the old one Okay, yeah, so as I measured before, this guy was two pounds, which means then this is three pounds right here. And that's why before I said this on here, its original weight, is five pounds. So that confirms it. So this guy alone is two pounds, this is five. So you know what? I'm going to take it like this. First of all, the legs are way thicker. I'm still going to use the same head. And it's okay even though it's so, so much shorter. I think this time I'm going to bring this guy. So this way I'm going to have a more solid, you know, because the tripod sometimes does a big difference too. So this tripod is at least 50% thicker, maybe more sturdy. I mean, we looked at the diameter. When you talk about the circumference, it could be actually more than uh, 50%. It could be up to 100% bigger or better than that one. And I'll have a more pleasant viewing experience i think you could agree and it's only going to cost me two extra pounds you know uh, than the original design and even though i'm saving five and a half pounds so i'm still saving a couple pounds but this i want to try it out and see if this is something that i'm going to like anyway let me tear this down take it back out because i can't put the head has to go separate put the tripod in and there we go